The Statues, an audio drama by Marcus Wilson. We have important news. Hi, I'm Jess B, your galactic news reporter, reporting for sectors 4A through 4B. Let's see what simulations we have for this region of the galaxy. So, it looks like we have some unusual stellar flare activity within section 4A coming from these three stars. M211 M352 and M464. Hmm. As you can see, for M211, it's still in its cycle of increased stellar activity. This will continue for the next three years and start to dwindle down as it comes to an end of its cycle. For M352, it's just starting its cycle and we should expect increased flares as well as various light tons migrating from this region as they seek to inhabit neighboring stars. And for M464, we've been watching this star closely. There is still odd activity coming from this one. We have picked up increased mass, some form of dark matter may have passed through the region causing the spike of its stellar activity. Nonetheless, it should be safe as the disturbances haven't exceeded what's normal for most stars in our region. Within section 4a, all these types of changes your ship will detect and adjust accordingly. But when overriding of your ship's Modus, AI... Ned and Polo are coming to the door. Would you like to let them in? Did you get that? Yes, Mobus. I got your telepathic message. I will let them in. Why do you always respond acoustically after responding electrochemically? Because you never confirm what I do. I'm sorry, Mobus. For now on, I will confirm any electrochemical messages. Thank you. And stop using those big words. I sound more like a normal person. I will do my best, Mobus. Polo, nay, what news do you have for me? I hope it's good. I haven't seen you two in weeks. Tell me it's good news. We need information for the ship that disappeared from our radar. A ship disappeared from your radar? Why wasn't I informed? It's strange. We've never encountered anything like it. Normally our ships give us a warning, but this one just suddenly disappeared. But our Galacta was able to capture some of the ship's memory. This is why we are here, to see what happened. So, let me get this straight. One of our ships disappeared from the radar. How long ago was this? It was about four hours ago. Two hours to get there and back, with the Galacta. And where were they? What did you find? Uh, nothing. It was a planet. Strange one. And? Nothing. Nothing, except the atmospheric memory the ship was able to pick up with its crystal. There was no sign of them. No sign they landed, except for the signal that was lost at that location. Hmm. Did you report this to security? I wasn't alerted. Yes. We had to manually because their ship didn't report. As soon as we were leaving, they arrived. They checked the area too, and... Their scanners, their analysis, couldn't pick anything up either. And if their signal accidentally stopped working, they should be here within 16 hours, because that's their estimated return time. So they're probably still out there somewhere. Maybe exploring or stranded. I don't think so, Mobis. This never happened before, and me would always report to me anything that goes wrong. And the ship would too, normally. This is why we need to connect to your central AI, so that it can display what happened. Whatever our Galacta was able to pick up from the ship's AI atmospheric memory. Okay, where's the memory device? I have it. It's right here. Place it right there in the center. It'll hover. What ship or team number was it? 443. Oh, that... That's the ship of Perry's Tay, and... Wasn't that the one with your... Yeah, uh, me. Nay's child. Me is part of the crew. Oh, wow. 
Well, yeah. Put it in quick. Let's see what happened. Glenn, did you get that? Give them access to the ship's atmospheric memory through the device. Got it. I'm now analyzing the crystal. My guess, though, is that if they weren't found at the landing location, the most likely explanation is the ship lost its signal and they're on their way back home to the planet. How long does it take? Just give it about a minute. I am synchronizing the crystals. There was an incident in another exploration region on our planet recently, but they were able to resolve it. Let's hope this is something similar and they're okay. But understand me, Nay. Although it's rare, we don't have a perfect system. Occasionally our ships go missing or they malfunction. So are you sure you want to see what happened? Of course I want to see what happened! How else will we know if they're okay? This is one of the reasons why I, myself, and the others only have access to the atmospheric memory due to all the explorations. This is a big universe. Some things... It's best some people just don't know. Are you sure? Yes, Mobis. Whatever the system picks up, I can handle. I just want to make sure they are safe. We thank you. Being on the council and everything. Sure. Like I said, I doubt it's anything serious. Their signal may have gotten lost and they're on their way. Should we contact their friends and so forth? Let's wait for what it shows first. Glenn, what's taking so long? I'm sorry, but only around four to five hours I am able to retrieve from the crystal. Also, it may be blurry or hard to see at times. I can attempt to qualitize the visuals but doing so may minimize the accuracy. However, the audio from their conversations are very clear, although there seems to be missing spots, especially of the background. Another thing to is- To show the damn hologram, Glenn. We have desperate people waiting. Displaying the memory. That's them! I think. It's hard to tell who is who. Yeah, I think that's me, Lhasa, Ko, Tay, and maybe that's Loan in the back playing the game. They're dancing, having fun of the ship, is what it looks and sounds like. Nothing unusual. Can you speed it up, Glenn? That is what I wanted to tell you. I can only display it as it appears now, as it happened, due to the mechanics of this particular crystal and my connecting one. Oh, that's from your Galacta? Yes. Yes. Damn new technology. The moment we take a step forward, we take a step backwards. However, I am able to pause, slow down, and rewind in case that is a request. Alright, perfect. How long ago was this? This was exactly 4 hours and 53 minutes ago. Um, make it louder. Here, you two, have a seat. Mobus, Perry is coming to the door. Would you like to let them in? Okay, I will let them in. Hey, Nay, Polo, Mobus, what happened? I can't get a hold of Tay. What's going on? Key, Lowen's sibling, said something about statues? Are they okay? Statues? Statues? Yeah. Statues? What did you hear? I was told they were on a planet with statues. Lowen streamed for Key and showed a planet with statues. <laughs> Is that all? How long did they stream for? It was brief, but Key said everything was okay when they talked. Let me find them. I think that's the right name. Hello? Hi, is this Key? Yes, this is them. Are your parents home? They are not. This is Mobis from the Council. I heard you spoke to your sibling, Loan earlier today. Is that correct? Yes. How long did you speak for? Not long, like five minutes maybe. And Loan showed you a planet? 
Yes, out the window. Lowen showed them walking to statues. What did the planet look like? What did they look like? Um, it was gray. Everything was gray, like statues. I think it was of people, but it was far away, so I couldn't really see. But that's all I saw. And then Lowen said they were on their way back home. Is everything okay? Thank you, Key. Yeah, everything should be fine. We'll talk more with you soon, okay? Okay, talk to you soon. Thank you, Key. That sounds like the same planet. Except there weren't any statues. We're certain of that. All right. Anything new or strange with the display? Nope. They're still partying, listening to music. Come here, Perry. Have a seat. This will show us everything. I might as well let you see it, too. So what happened? Is Tay okay? The ship disappeared. The signal is lost. We visited the last location. We didn't see any statues, but this is from the ship's atmospheric memory. We're watching it now to see what happened. And this was about five hours ago. And in case you plan to ask, Perry, I cannot speed up the display. It must replay as it happened until the memory dissipates. Does security know? Yes, they were there with us. We checked everywhere and everything. Okay, Mobis. I will turn it up a little more and try to qualitize it a bit as per your request. Thank you. New planet detected. New planet detected. That must have been the new planet they visited. So was that Lhasa and me going over to the center of the ship? The other three don't seem to notice the warning. You're too busy having fun. It's really hard to see planet. So if we're wrong about anything, please let us know. If there are any details we missed or may not be able to recognize, just tell us. Certainly, Mobus. Since I'm able to visualize everything on my end, due to the type of information being closer to my processing, would you like me to improvise by providing a description of the details? Sure, that'll do. And expand the hologram. Fill our area to the size as if we were on the ship as well. Expanding the hologram, do you also want me to synchronize the acoustics? Yes, everything as if we're on the ship. Wow, this is much better with everything not being visually clear. Yeah, we should get this tech for the Galacta. It's still hard to make things out, though. I had just briefly paused the hologram so you wouldn't miss any important details. I will continue displaying it now. Thank you, Glenn. Ari, details please. And there is me. Yes, that is me and Lassa at the projection. How clear is everything? Would you like more detailed description as we move along? Yeah, I think Glenn should give us as much detail as they can. As it's hard to make out their gestures and movements and sometimes know which is which. Just give us the details, Glenn. The ship is now showing them a hologram of the planet. Are we prepared if we find out they're stranded or something? What are we going to do? We'll have our security team go get them. They've got more advanced equipment. Now let's pay attention so we can capture everything. That is Lassa at the hologram with me and she gestures to the other three, Tay, Ko, and Loan, to stop partying. Loan stops the music from his electronic bracelet, which they all have in use for a variety of functions on the ship. We know that, Glenn. We once had that kind of ship. What's going on? Tay, Tay, Tay. Yes, Perry, that is Tay. The other three are now walking over to the projection. All five are now at the projection. Can you make out the projection, Glenn? Not yet. A hologram within a hologram seems to have less clarity. Okay, I will let you know when I do. A new planet has been detected, about 3,000 miles northeast of your ship. Would you like more details? Loan looks at the time on his electronic bracelet and it reads 1978. Oh, come on, guys. Not another planet. We don't have time to visit anymore. We have to be back home in 20 hours. Well, let's just see what it's like. In some instances, I am able to anticipate what happens. 
In this case, I will slow down or pause display before providing descriptions, as I've been doing. But don't slow down too much. We need to know what happened as soon as possible. Nay is right. Only slow it down when there's information necessary for our understanding. And pause it so we don't miss anything. After that, speed it back up. Certainly. Ari, yes. More details, please. The system is analyzing more of the planet. I'm still not able to accurately provide details of the hologram. The planet is approximately 4,000 miles in diameter. It is completely isolated. There appears to be no celestial bodies revolving around it. And it appears to be part of no revolutionary celestial system. So it's an isolated planet? That's strange. Could it be like a spaceship? It shows no sign of being a spaceship. Its chemical composition shows uniformity, meaning it was formed mostly by natural processes, like most planets we've encountered. Probably the gray to which Key was referring. You remember that one spaceship, guys? What ship? The one where the civilization transformed their planet into a huge spaceship. Oh, yes! I remember that one! That was so long ago. <sighs> We're wasting our time, guys. We gotta head back. Tay put out her arm as to stop Lowen from returning to his seat, but Lowen kept walking. He is now back at his seat. Ari, what more information can you give us? There is something very strange about this planet. Isn't being in the middle of nowhere strange already? Not only is the planet completely isolated, it is completely still. What do you mean completely still? I do not detect any movement at all. There is no rotation of the planet. However, it is moving slowly through space as a whole, but on the surface and inside, there appears to be no movement at all. Even its chemical composition seems to be completely still. Yes, that's definitely the planet we visited. Our ship gave similar details. Sounds like it's frozen. Yeah. Like, really, really cold. It is not frozen. The temperature on the surface is a constant 71 degrees. What? How is that possible? This does not seem possible. Therefore, the only explanation I can give is the planet's characteristics are beyond my detection range. And there is one more odd thing about this planet. Oh, good lord, come on! Is everything okay with you, Lowen? No, Ari, we need to get back home. Forget about the planet and take us home. We've been gone for three months already. Any such decisions I make must be in an agreement with all of you. Do the rest of you agree? Do you want to abandon this planet and continue with your journey back home? Lassa is looking at her bracelet and sees the time. We really should head back, guys, so we can- Ari, what's the other odd thing you wanted to tell us about it? The density of the planet. It is also incalculable. There is no way for me to measure how much matter and energy the planet as a whole possesses. However, the gravity on the planet is surprisingly compatible with our home planet. <sighs> I really hope they're okay. The density? That means it's more dense than every planet we've encountered by far. And even the black holes. Yes. The density appears to be so great that it is beyond my detection range. But the gravity does not match its density. It is completely immeasurable. It is as if the suspected gravity is focused more towards the center of the planet rather than its surface. So, what do you guys say? There's no life. Wait, Ari, scan for life? Ari is scanning for life. Gosh, I wish this would hurry up. Yeah. Are you sure there's no way to speed it up? They could be in danger. Yes, I'm sure. I can infer up to a limit, but due to the crystal and the surrounding limits, it would be more accurate and optimal to display it as it is. <sighs> there is no detectable movement on the planet, and therefore no detectable metabolic processes. Good. There's no life, so there's no point. Now, let's get home, guys. But that means it's even more safe to visit. Right? 
guys? <sighs> One of these days, we're going to be snooping around into something we shouldn't be and be in for a big surprise. There's too many uncertainties. We've never encountered a planet with so many unknowns. But there's no life. The gravity is compatible. The temperature is perfect. Let's just go check it out. Maybe grab some of its soil and then we can head back home. Just 30 minutes. The council would probably be interested in seeing some samples from that place. And it would help update the database for future explorations. Just send down the robot. That's what they should have done. But there's nothing like being able to step foot on it and tell the others we have back at home. Tay is an adventurer. If you decide to go, I can't give an estimation of safety because there are too many variables outside my range of detection. However, I can say you are capable of walking and moving around on the surface. The surface appears to be sand-like, with hardened hills scattered abroad. It gets immeasurably more dense the further down you go into the core. The chemical makeup is also uniform, meaning the same one material seems to be what makes up the entire planet. I say we give it a quick shot. 30 minutes wouldn't hurt. Uh, yeah, might as well. It's very close. 30 minutes. This should be fun. That is Tay walking over to Loam to sit down next to him. Come on. You have to say yes. Just 30 minutes. We'll go, set foot, feel the air. There is no air. I didn't mention, but the atmosphere is certainly breathable without your shields. See? We set foot, take some samples, have a look around, and be on our way. 30 minutes. Loan appears to be ignoring Tay while still playing the game. The other three are now walking over towards Loan. We can see that, Glenn. Improvising the best I can for all of you. Tay is now holding Loan's arm. Please. I'm staying right here. Y'all do whatever you want. If it exceeds 30 minutes, I'm transferring to another exploration team. Oh, Loan, you wouldn't leave us, would you? How many years have we all been together? Fifteen years? Sixteen, actually. Thirty minutes. Thanks, buddy. The four had quickly walked back over to the center of the ship. Okay, Ari, we all agree. Take us to the planet. First, hover around it to find a safe place for us to land. And continue scanning to alert us for any unexpected changes. Very well. We should be arriving in 10 minutes. I want to warn you, however, I do not recommend going because I can't give you an estimated safety analysis. It's okay, Ari. We'll have enough equipment to protect us if anything comes up. And we'll wear our protective shields just in case. Right, guys? They nod, appearing to agree. Sure. Very well. We are now headed towards the planet. The four, me, Lassa, Ko and Tay are now putting on their force field suits and devices. Oh, gosh. This really needs to hurry up. Yeah, I'm going to contact the AI engineering team and see what's up with these crystals. From my analysis, it's because Ari's ship and Team 443 didn't have the latest crystal upgrade. This is why it's hard for me to fully synchronize with it, hence only allowing a forward display with reasonable accuracy. <sighs> All right. Just keep going and don't stop with the details. Tayhead went over to Lowen and hugs him. Thank you. You're the best friend ever. You owe me one. Tay gives him another hug. And I will definitely repay you. Tayhead ran over to her spot to get ready, fast forwarding a little. You know, Lowen is right. We really need to stop visiting every planet we come across. Some wisdom from Lhasa. Yeah, especially ones like this we don't know much about. We should be safe. We have our Forcer. Ko is showing them the Forcer-type device attached to the arm, which resembles a gun, which they all have. Capable of destroying anything that comes our way. We have our protective suits, capable of falling into a star and being unfazed. What more could we ask for? 
Don't get too confident. You guys want no secret? What? Sure. When we get back home, we're getting a new ship. No way. Hmm. I asked him not to say anything about that. But it's okay. That's fucking awesome. What kind? How'd you find out? My parent, Nay, told me. Don't tell me it's a Galacta. Yes, it's a Galacta. Fuck. That's like five times the size of this one. Yes, and more advanced too. Hey, why just tell the two of us? I'm not supposed to know. It's supposed to be a surprise for when we get back home. But then Lowen started talking about leaving us. So, after this mission, if we end up being longer than 30 minutes, we'll tell them and take- Lowen's not leaving us. And you're right. Lowen definitely wouldn't pass up a new ship. Tay is now walking over to them. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Lhasa and Ko are looking at me with a smirk and me pants Tay on the shoulder. We'll tell you after our mission. I'm not stupid, you guys. 30 minutes. Whatever you were whispering out, you're not getting me to go out with you. And don't let it exceed 30 minutes. We'll be in and out before you know it, Lowen. Gosh, I so hope they didn't end up being stranded there. But we looked. We scanned the whole area. The four are staring into the projection, and it is showing them moving closer to the planet. I can't figure out all the details yet, but it does seem to fit the description mentioned by Key. The projection now shows a clear view of the planet for them. Beautiful. Tay is going over to the edge of the ship, and is looking out the window. From her point of view, the information I pick up from her suit, she sees the ship hovering over the planet and above the land. The land on the planet has miniature hills, all of different sizes, and they are all spread out on the surface. In between them appears to be sand-like material. Everything is the same color, the planet is light gray as Key suggested. The four are now looking out the windows at all directions of the ship. Are you guys comfortable with this landing location? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ship is now lowering to the ground. It appears Ari has detected an anomaly. The word strange anomaly detected is now flashing on the projection. They should get an alert. A strange anomaly has been detected. And there it is. The ship is stopped and is hovering in midair. The four are running back over to the projection. They all look very serious and concerned. Ari, what is it? About a mile south of the ship, there are strange formations. Okay, don't land yet. Take us there and maintain a safe distance. The four are now walking towards the south side of the ship, looking out the window. In the distance, and on the surface of the planet, they are moving closer to what appears to be a collection of about 100 statues of very strange creatures. And those are the statues Key mentioned. Guys, I have a bad feeling about this. Give us more details about the statues, Glenn. Okay, one moment, please. All the statues appear to be the same color as the planet, and they are all situated as if having conversations with each other, as if they were part of some social event. Except, of course, they are statues. They all seem to be the same kind of species. They are between four and seven feet tall. They all have horns on their heads. Oh my gosh! Why would they want to see those things? The horns are pointing forwards and upwards, some in different locations and angles than the others. They all have tails, some larger than others. They have own shaped eyes, and their teeth are pointed, shaped like shark teeth. They all have sharp, straight nails coming from their fingers. They appear to be very muscular and of various genders and ages. On their backs are what appears to resemble wings, except they are short and more narrow. They are not wearing any clothing. The sand is covering their feet, revealing only their ankles. Sounds like creations of the species that lives there. Resuming the display. Holy shit. Alright, that's enough. It appears as if me doesn't want the ship to get too close. 
They are now a safe distance from the statues, hovering in one spot, where they can see them from the window. Do you recall any species like that, Mobis? A few, but not with that exact description. We encountered a couple species that look like that. Remember, Nay? Yes, but they didn't have wings. Ah, true. Are they statues? They certainly do look like it. Hey, Lowen! Look at this! Tay runs over to Lowen and grabs his arm. <sighs> the two had walked to the window. Lowen, okay. Tay points out the window. See? Statues. So there is, or was, life here. Glenn, do you sense anything odd? Not at the moment. Due to my limited information of the area, my analysis would be no better than the ship. Ari, scan them. What do you detect? Ari is now projecting a laser at the statues. They are now walking back over to the projection, which is now showing the statues. Other than having a different form, the formations are of the exact same material as the planet. However, they are more dense than the surface, equal in density to the hills, it is as if someone, or something, formed them from the material of the planet. Like a sandcastle. Yes, Lhasa, like making a sandcastle. Except they are many times harder than a sandcastle, and I do not detect any increased moisture. Let's go! Loan is walking back to his spot and looks at the time. Time's running out, guys. We're already here. Less than 30. Once we land, 30 minutes. So you guys still want to land? We know someone was here. Whoever built them. We're already here. We might as well. Yeah. I want to take some pictures with them. All right. Me is now walking over to the window. It appears as if me is observing the ship's position in relation to the statues as well as the ground below where they're about to land. We'll land right here, walk over to the statues, take some soil samples or whatever, and then we'll head back to the ship and be on our way back home. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, Ari. Land is here. Tick-tock! Tick-tock! They all appear to be smiling because of Loan. Okay, we are now landing. Hey, shouldn't we put in the gravity lock? You know, just in case? The gravity lock. One of our most advanced innovations. One of a few that didn't seem to go backwards. Actually, yes. Ari, initiate the gravity lock once we land. What's the gravity lock? It's so nothing could interfere with the ship. Well, it attaches the ship to the surface by absorbing the planet's gravity. Like if something were to happen that would try to move our ship. It basically would be impossible because it uses the planet's gravitational strength to keep it locked in place. In other words... Unless something comes along with a greater force than the entire gravitation of the planet itself, it's not going anywhere. Cool. Tay, smiling and excited, goes back over to the window. She is now taking a picture of the statues from inside the ship. Take a 3D pic. Good idea. Tay takes a pic of the entire area of the ship, including them inside the ship and the outside statues in the distance. Ship is landing in five, four, three, two, one. Ship has landed. Initializing gravity lock. Gravity lock is now initiated. The door, which is on the west side of the ship, has opened. We should be coming to the point when Lone talk with Key. Are you picking up anything strange, Glenn, now that they've landed? Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, I am not. Everything still seems to be secure, even with the door open. The invisible field that the door is opening appears to be active, which allows nothing, except those on the ship, to pass through. You may now proceed to the planet. Is everyone ready? Put on your force fields. We've done this a million times. Remember? Ari said we didn't need them. Yes, but just in case. Yes, good decision, me. 
before our putting on their force fields. Yeah, from now on, we're gonna have to make sure all the ships have the latest upgrades. It's ridiculous having to wait like this. Especially if it's an emergency. They are now heading towards the planet. Loan is still playing his game and appears to be lost in it. Is Glenn able to see outside? Maybe through the ship? Yes, nay. I am able to see outside through the sensors of the ship. Anything the ship sensed, I am able to in limited detail, as well as infer and manifest through the crystal. I am also able to recreate through their wearables, which have sensors that are connected to the ship. It is fortunate that the data seems to be accessible at most sensors of the ship. Okay, perfect. Me has stepped onto the surface. I have shifted the hologram environment, which is now displaying just outside the ship, accessible through their wearables. I will switch it up depending on the needed information. As they suspected, it is as if they are stepping on sand. The rest follow me and are getting a feel of the ground under their feet while observing their surroundings in their own way. Me's view shows him looking over at the statues in the distance. Okay, you guys ready? They all nod. Let's head over. Nothing strange yet, Glenn? No, Mobus. Nothing strange at any of Ari's points of view. Uh, all right. Oh, wait. I do notice something. What do you notice, Glenn? What is it, Glenn? Glenn, what do you notice? Is Glenn okay? Glenn! I am not sure. There seems to be... What resembles one of the statues right near the side of the ship. A statue is near the ship and, and they didn't notice? No, not exactly. It appears to be... Two fingers, in the form of the statues, just above the ground, on the side of the ship right near the door. Let me show you the view through the hologram, although it may be difficult for you all to see it clearly. There. Can you see? Uh, it does look like something. We can see something is sticking out, but not any details. Yeah, and you said it looks like two fingers? Yes, clearly, and they are sticking up from the ground. If the four would have turned around and looked back, they may have noticed it, but it is questionable. It sounds like some of the statues are buried. Yeah, like the sand has covered them. Is that all? I am still scanning. Give me one moment. Yes, that is all. The call you hear is for Lone on the ship, who is still playing the Hala game. This is likely the call from Key. Let me shift the environment to that area through his device. The conversation has started, but let me rewind it to the beginning. Hi, Loan. What are you up to? Yes, this is the conversation Key mentioned. Key, how are you? You've been gone for three months. Were you said you'd be back tomorrow? Yes, we should be arriving at around... Uh, at around 13.30 tomorrow. I miss you. I can't wait until I'm old enough to go on missions like you. Five more years and you'll qualify for the training. Where are you? Are you moving or stopped? We're stopped. Let me show you something. Cool, are you on a planet? What are those things they're walking to? They're statues. Cool, who made them? We don't know. They were just here. Lowen walks back over to his seat. Glenn, is everything still the same? In the environment? How are the other four doing? Are their surroundings safe? Yes, everything appears to be the same. Through all sensors of the ship, including their wearables, everything seems the same. Nothing at all has changed. I will shift to their environment after the conversation between Key and Lowen has ended. Let me return to the conversation and rewind for context. Cool, who made them? We don't know. They were just here. I'll tell you everything once we get home. Everything? Like the places you visited and all the aliens you talked to, like last time? <laughs> yes, everything. Just like last time. And I even have some souvenirs for you I picked up along the way. 
Cool. I love you, Lowen. I love you too, Key. Hey, I'll be there in 20 hours. Say hi to Reeve for me. I gotta go now. Okay, I will. Bye, Lowen. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. The conversation has ended. Lowen appears to be lying there on the chair and eat thought. Would you like me to shift to the Four's environment now? Sure. Wait. What's Lowen doing? They haven't arrived at the statues yet, and they're okay. Let's hold off on that. Lowen has gotten up and appears to be... heading towards the restroom. Okay. Lowen is now in the restroom and appears to be safe. Alright. You can shift to the Four's environment now. Certainly. I am now accessing their wearables. Wait. I think I may have noticed something else. What? What is it, Glenn? During my temporary access of Lowen's point of view, just outside the bathroom window, there was something in the view that Lowen did not notice. I am going to shift to that area through the ship's outside sensors. On the east side of the ship, opposite the side of the door's entrance, and further north, just below the bathroom window where Lowen still currently resides, there appears to be another set of statue-like fingers. They too are sticking up from the ground. Oh, more statues? I don't like those things. Are you sure? I asked you before and you said there was nothing else odd with the environment. I am sorry, but it did not occur to me to look here. But just like with the two fingers at the entrance, there are fingers, three in number, on the opposite side sticking up from the ground. It did not occur to me because I did not expect for it to be a reasonable place to look. You have to look everywhere. We have to make sure they're safe. Now, are you sure that is all? Just the fingers? And have the four arrived at the statues yet? Yes, I am certain. That is all this time. I apologize for my lack of awareness and analysis. The four will be arriving at the statues in a few minutes. Nothing at all appears unusual. Lowen has left the restroom and is now back in his seat playing his game. Hmm. It's kind of odd they landed where some of the statues are buried, isn't it? Unless, maybe, the whole surface of the planet is covered with them. That would be weird and very strange. And a lot of statues. We are close to the statues, so perhaps it's just the area? It may or may not be a coincidence. Glenn, I'm going to ask you one last time. Is there anything else you didn't pick up that we should be aware of? Give me a moment. Instead of probabilistically narrowing my search, I will holistically expand it. Show us all the environments as you scan them. Certainly. Are you guys seeing anything? No, not at all. There's the two, I guess. Fingers at the front. And there's the three in the back. At the moment, there is nothing else odd or strange with the ship, or with its inhabitants or environment. And, the four are okay. Alright, shift to the four's point of view. Let's see what they're up to. Shifting the hologram now. What you see now are the four walking up to the collection of statues. This is so awesome, guys. Yeah, it's like we're visiting a museum. Or like a Stonehenge. Or Egypt. They have now officially arrived at the statues. I can see, near the statues, but just past them, there is one of those small hills. Look at these things! They're awesome! Whoever made them has incredible detail. Lhasa is touching one of them with her fingers. Don't touch them, Lhasa! Yeah, they're so detailed and lifelike. The statues appear to be very detailed, great precision to the finest detail, and they all appear to have grins on their faces. I would say, slightly dishonest ones. Me is, pulling out the scanning device. Let's see how dense these things are. Me is about to scan one of the largest statues in the area. Density, 
Approximately 9 billion tons per cubic nanometer. Oh, wow. What? That's almost impossible, isn't it, guys? I don't recall anything being that dense. It's strange. Where in the world are they? Me seemed surprised and confused as well and is scanning the statue again. Approximately 9 billion tons per cubic nanometer. Me adjust something on the device. Scanning again. That is Lasso walking up to me. Weight is approximately 9 quintillion tons. 9 quintillion tons? This little thing weighs 9 quintillion tons? Are you sure it's not just estimating the whole area of all the statues? That would still be a whole lot. Look. Me is now scanning it from the ankles and moving it all the way up to the top of the head. Scanned item is approximately 9 quintillion tons. From here? Me points at the ankles. To here? Me points to the top of head. It weighs that much. In comparison, this thing is denser than any material we've encountered in the universe. We don't even have numbers or physics for it. That definitely sounds about right. How can anyone form those things? Must be someone with some really advanced tech. Hmm. And nine quintillion tons? That's the weight of one of our moons. The tiniest speck of these things would fall and tear right through your hand. Cole is now walking over to them. What's your scan pickup? You won't believe it. Me is showing Ko the device's reading. Ko appears to be in deep thought. Ko looks at the force field on his arm. And the density? Me scans the density again. Density? Approximately 9 billion tons per cubic nanometer. Not even our force fields can break these things. Not even close. Why would we want to break them? They're so beautiful. It's their monument. Beautiful. Me is getting up close to one of them and looking it in the eyes. Hey there. Hope you don't mind us stopping by for a visit. You may be wondering, but Tay has been taking selfies in many different directions with many of the different statues and is now running over to the nearby hill. I guess to take a 3D picture. Lhasa appears to be digging to see what the statues are standing on. She notices that the sand stops at the bottom of the ankles, never revealing the feet. It is as if the ankles are connected to the hardened ground below. Hmm. So, maybe they're connected to something larger. Like a buried building or something. That could explain the other buried ones. In my analysis, the whole planet under the sand is hardened like the statues, so it would be the entire surface they are connected to. Then maybe... they were sculpted. Like from one of those hills. That's a possibility. Nay, resuming the display. Hey guys. Look. Ko and me are walking over to Lhasa. They're connected to the ground. Me and Ko dig near the ankles of other nearby statues. And, as I mentioned, they are all connected to the ground below. So no wonder why they haven't tumbled over. That and they're too heavy to be knocked over. Ko appears to be looking up at the sky. Hey guys, you see any familiar stars, planets, anything? They all look up at the sky. It is pitch black, but faint stars can be seen. However, they are so dim you can tell they are isolated from other celestial bodies and stars. Tay appears to be running back to the ship. Follow Tay and give us back a view of the ship. Certainly, I have enough backlog to fast forward a bit. Tay arrives at the entrance, and as you can see, she did not appear to notice the fingers, probably because she was in haste or was not looking for them. Alright, and shift to the inside now. Wait! What? What is it, Nay? Go back! Go back to where? To the entrance, near the door, th that shows the fingers! Shifting now. Here is the view. What? What is it, Nay? 
Look! The fingers! What about them? They're obviously out further from the ground! Oh my gosh, Nay, you're right. Something moved them. Yeah, it does look a little different. Glenn, what have you picked up? Is Nay's analysis true or is it different? I am comparing my first image to the present image. Yes, there has been a change. Could it be because of the wind blowing away the sand? What do you detect that could have moved it? Examine all frames. Actually, in my analysis, it appears as if the fingers have grown or come up from the ground. It is not because any sand was blown away or any other factor. It is as if they have grown upward, like a tree, and it is slightly slanted towards the ship. And what does the opposite side look like now? Show us. Shifting now. Oh my gosh! See? This one is now much higher off the ground too than before! Yes, you were right. Nay, this particular one now shows the entire hand coming up from the ground instead of only the three fingers. Also, with the other one near the entrance, I can now infer, by a slight dent in the soil, a third finger appears to be coming up. I'm sorry I did not detect these changes before, as the changes were too slow for me to detect. So they're growing up from the ground? Aren't they super dense and heavy? How can anything move them? It is strange. How fast are they moving, Glenn? One moment. On average, between the two of them, about a quarter of an inch change within the last ten minutes. Huh. Maybe, like, the gravity lock is shifting the planet or something? Like an earthquake? It's too early to tell, but I'm gonna have the security team re-examine the area. Glenn, what do you think is happening? And how are me and the others doing? Can you show us Tay's conversation with Loan? The others seem fine, and unlike with the fingers or hands near the ship, there hasn't been any change with the group of statutes. Also, Tay and Loan are now leaving the ship. They may need to get out of there. And sure, Perry, for context and to get all the details, I will rewind and shift and when Tay just returned to the ship. And hurry, just the important details. Certainly. Tay had run inside and is beside Loan. She is showing Loan the pictures. Look! Take a picture with me. No. I said I was staying here. I don't want to go out there. Just one picture. Please. No, Tay. You guys have ten minutes. Okay, if you take a picture with me, I'll give you... Ugh. Loan puts on his force field. I swear, I'm leaving you guys once we get home. This is when they head out of the ship and quickly walk towards the statues. We are now back at the environment with the statues, and from Loss's point of view, she sees Tay and Loan coming over. Hey guys, look. Tay got Loan to come. The three stop, look, and smile as Tay and Loan walk over. They have arrived. Glad you made it. It's just for a picture. I swear they're going to get married someday. Loan and Tay are taking pictures. Cole is walking over to Loan and Tay as they take selfie pictures with the statues. Hey guys, I want to show you something. He holds out the force field and points it at the statue Loan and Tay just took a selfie at. Step back. Wait, what are you doing? Loan looks at Ko weird as Loan points his force field at the face of the statue. Maximum strength. Shoot! Oh my god. They're not supposed to be using their force fields on other people's equipment. Ko, what are you doing? Don't ruin the statue! Ko stops and is now walking over to the statue to have a look. Lotta and me are walking over. They each weigh about 9 quintillion tons. Their density is well beyond our understanding of physics. It's like trying to blow down a brick wall with your breath. More like a diamond wall. You mean, even our most advanced weapons can't destroy these things? It doesn't even phase them. Uh, 
Show us a quick view of their hands, the fingers, whatever they are, near the ship, or anywhere in the environment to see if there's been any change. Certainly. Doing so now. Can you see? Yeah. See? It's even higher than last time! It looks like it's almost a whole hand! Here is the other side of the ship. It's hard to see, but it's definitely higher off the ground and closer to the ship. And look! What now? Glenn, zoom into that area where I'm pointing. What does that look like to you? I'm analyzing. It is fortunate to just be sand, a little higher off the ground, likely due to the pressure from the ship. I still hope they can get out of there quick, because I have a really bad feeling about this. Wait, I think I have noticed something. Have a look at this. No, please don't tell me those are more fingers coming up near the side of the ship. Yes, I can confirm. Oh, no. And look, not only are they coming up near the entrance and opposite side, but are now coming up from the other sides. I can also confirm that the original two hands have now increased by an inch within the last five minutes. They seem to be moving slightly faster than in the beginning. My analysis reveals, by their distance and estimated size, there appears to be about eight buried statues in total, that is, if they are complete statues. Also, most of the visible ones appear to be on the sides of the ship not visible near the entrance when walking in. I'm calling the security team. We need to quarantine the area. What? Shouldn't we go back there? What if they're still there, somewhere on the planet? We would have to do something to save them. Let us three go alone. No, no. It's too dangerous, and we don't know where they are or what those things are. But I will have my security team with their most advanced equipment. It's definitely more than your Galacta. They can do a more thorough search. How are the five, Glenn? They are fine, at the moment. Mobus. This is Mobus. I'm gonna need a quarantine and a more detailed search. Hold off on the robots for now until I have more information. Yeah, where the ship's signal was lost. 443. No ships are to fly by or pass through the area. Yes, immediately. We're still analyzing. I'll get back to you and have the information sent. All right, thank you. What are you doing, Glenn? Fast forward and shift the environment to where they are. And send the info to the security team. I'm sorry, Mobus. I was analyzing everything, as well as trying to understand the statues near the ship, which I cannot. To shut the fuck up and return to where we were. At the statues. Nothing has changed and they're okay. Rewind to where we were before for context. Unless something strange happens, then skip forward to the present. Certainly, and I apologize. This is now the environment of the statues, about three minutes behind. They each weigh about nine quintillion tons. Their density is well beyond our understanding of physics. It's like trying to blow down a brick wall with your breath. More like a diamond wall. You mean, even our most advanced weapons can't destroy these things? It doesn't even phase them. Arya was right. The density of this planet is beyond its detection range. It's why none of our instruments can phase them, because we didn't even know such were possible. I wonder what equipment was used to make these things. Ko is going over to Tay and pulls her arm. He directs her arm at the face of the statue. Go ahead, try it. Use maximum force and heat. Even if it doesn't phase them, she still should know not to use them. Tay is smiling and is now pointing it down at the statue's privates. The rest smile because of it. Tay squints her eyes and turns her head slightly. Maximum force and heat! Shoot! As suspected, the statue is unfazed, not even in the slightest. See? Nothing. Nothing. You just gave it a blowjob. <laughs> cool! 
I wonder if there is anything that can break them. Nothing I can think of. They all appear to be looking around. I'm glad we decided to come here. Yeah, Tay. The council should be happy with what we found. But they won't be too happy when they find out we didn't know much about this place before visiting. Well, we have our information and our pictures. Tay looks at the time. 29 minutes. We can go now. Thank God. Get us out of here. Okay, you guys ready? They all take one last look around. They look at their samples and pictures. Lassa looks at Ko. Yes, I'm ready. Tay appears to be looking back at the hill. Let's take one last pick. Up there, on the hill. Ugh, hurry up, guys! They're taking too long. They all look at each other. Okay, quick. What's the ship like now, Glenn? At the forward display, has it changed much? Examining. Comparing from just moments ago, there appears to be more hands coming up from the ground at... Oh my gosh, get out of there! ...in non-visible signs of the ship, and they appear to be moving slightly faster. Minutes ago, I thought they were moving significantly slower, but it now seems more like two inches per minute. Also, they all appear to be changing at slightly different speeds, that is just the average. Give us a quick peek around the ship. Certainly. Shifting now. I can't watch this. <sighs> there are definitely more coming up from the ground! They need to get back, quick. Alright, shift back. Can you fast forward or predict what might happen in the next... 30 minutes? How far back are we? You are behind by about 7 minutes, as mentioned. I cannot fast forward beyond the crystal's present display. The way everything is structured on the planet, including the statues, shows a nearly infinitude of possibilities. I'm afraid at this point in time you need accuracy, therefore it is more secure to show it as it unfolds. Shifting back to their environment now. They all, except Tay, had run over to stand on top of the hill near the statues, while Tay places the camera device to hover in the air. This is so it can face the statues and them behind the statues on the hill. This is hard like the surface under the sand. Tay runs over to join them on the hill. She arrives and they are now posing. Many of them, I can see, like some of the statues. The hovering device is now going up in the air. It is taking pictures from many angles. Wow, there is something else very unfortunate. What is it? Back at the ship, I detect, on the opposite side where they cannot see, near the restroom window, are about four hands. They have now penetrated through the bottom side of the ship. Fuck. Is security still getting this, Glenn? Yes, they are. Oh my god. This is not looking good, guys. Has no one heard of them yet? No one of the planet. Isn't the ship supposed to be impenetrable? Yeah, but clearly the density of those things is far beyond anything we've encountered. And the gravity lock keeps it in place. But the ship itself should be okay if they're able to lift off. Because after that, it should be able to repair itself. Resuming the display, it is now hovering over Tay. It lands back in Tay's hand. Alright, is that it? Lhasa had looked at the time. Yeah, we really should head back. They are now leaving the vicinity of the statues, fasting forward a little. As they walk past the last statue, Tay stops and looks at it. Hey, guys? Wasn't the statue facing the other way when we first arrived? Glenn, I thought you said those ones weren't moving. In my analysis, Tay is correct. It has changed. I'm sorry I did not detect this change before, as the change was too slow for me to detect. What do you think? Something came down and moved a nine gazillion pound statue? I don't know. Tay brushes off the hunch. Should have kept with it. They are still walking back to the ship. <sighs> I'm gonna ask you guys one last time, and you too, Perry. Do you want to continue? There's a possibility you may not like what you see. 
Yes, I'm sure. My fingers are crossed. Mine are too. Apollo. Huh? Yes, yes. Carry on, Glenn, regardless of what's displayed. That was my plan, Mobus. Yeah, I know. How long until they arrive at the ship? Not long. Under five minutes. Skip ahead whenever you can. Certainly. They are still walking towards the ship. Hey, Loan and Tay. I got a secret to tell you. Don't tell me you and Lazar are having a baby. We're getting a new ship. Hmm. When? When we get back home. My parent told me. Tay, excitedly, jumps on Loan. But none of us are supposed to know. So you can't say anything until they reveal the surprise to us. Loan appears to be shocked, happy, and in thought. So are you still leaving us, Loan? Loan now shows a grin. I'll have to see what the ship looks like first. Me, Ko, and Lossa smile. Alright, skip ahead some more. Skipped. They are now about 50 feet away from the entrance of the ship. Ko stops and seems to notice something. He is looking into the direction behind the ship, but farther away from it. About 100 feet away from the ship appears to be another statue, an isolated one, standing alone. It appears to be facing them, looking directly at them. Oh my lord! Get out of there! Ignore it! Please! Hey guys! Look! Cole points to the statue. They stop and see it too in the distance. Is that another statue? That wasn't there before. No, it wasn't. They are now walking towards it. How's the ship, Glenn? Unfortunately, not good Mobus. More have penetrated the ship. I didn't mention it because I figured it was expected. As they walk towards the isolated statue, they seem to not notice the sides of the ship where the arms and hands are coming up. Instead, they are fixated on this one statue. <sighs> Fast forwarding. They have arrived at the isolated statue. According to my analysis of all the statues, this one seems to be more prominent. Its wings, and its horns, appear to be much larger than the others. It also appears to have a grin on its face and is licking its lips, kind of as if it were hungry and ready to eat. I don't know if I could continue listening to this. You're more than welcome to go. As soon as we know more, we can tell you what happened. No! Ew! Why does this one look so creepy? They all look creepy. I don't like the look of this, guys. Me is looking around. Me looks back at the ship. He starts squinting as if he is noticing the sides of the ship. Warning. Malfunction has been detected on the ship. Please return immediately. Go! Go! They all looked at each other and are now running towards the ship. I would like to add, the statue they just left, the prominent one which I'd like to call it, seems to have an even more dishonest grin on its face. It changed a little, with more widened eyes, almost smiling, and still licking its lips. As they move closer to the ship, they can now see all the hands coming up towards the ship, and it is unfortunate, as I mentioned, many that have now penetrated through. Security. Any word on the planet or that area? Have you found anything? All right. Search under the sand, too. Yeah, I know it's too dense for a ship, but do it anyway. I have been informed, Mobis. They have been looking to no avail. Alright. Resume. Look! Where are all these hands coming from? It looks like they're all coming from the ground. These things are alive. Yeah. They're definitely living creatures of some kind. They are now running around the ship to the entrance. They arrive at the entrance and step inside. As you can see, there is the first hand coming up from the ground near the door, but due to the angle they arrived, they were not able to see it. Fasting forward. All of them are now inside the ship and are looking around. They can see the hands that have penetrated through the lower walls of the ship and even through the bottom of the floor. Please, please let them have escaped. Ari's light is flashing inside the ship. Warning! 
Multiple malfunctions detected. They've hurt the ship. Warning. We're Multiple getting Multiple malfunctions out. detected. Ari, close the door. Release the gravity lock and get us out of here quick. The door has just closed. All five of them are strapping into their seats. Come on! The ship is about to take off. It looks like the holographic projection has just disappeared and the main lights of the ship have just gone out. Except the backup ones that are not connected to the ship's power source. That must have been when the signal was lost! That means they should still be in the exact same location! Unless something moved the ship. Yes, nay, my calculations reveal this is the exact time when the signal was lost. They may, hopefully, be able to get the ship back working again. But just in case, I'm going to have them release the bots. Mobis Security, release the robots. Do a more detailed search. No, on the fucking moon, yes on the planet. Start where the signal was lost. It looks like they may still be in the area. You got it? Yeah, their ship malfunctioned. Yeah, you said you looked everywhere. Keep checking, under the sand, everywhere. I know it's too dense, just keep looking. And be on the lookout for those statues. All right, maintain your hover, good. All right, keep looking. Release the robots. The ship had stopped and they are all looking at each other. They appear to be in shock. Ari? Are you there? Ari! Get us out of here! The ship Ari. is down. Cole has gotten up from his seat and is observing where all the hands have penetrated. In my analysis, they all, where all the hands have penetrated, seem to be very methodological. Loan and Lhasa are checking video chat from their bracelets, but it says no signal. Why isn't our video chat working? Loan is trying to call Key, but there is no signal. They've punctured all our main functions. All our external transmissions go through the ship first. Isn't there like a backup or something? Nothing is supposed to be able to penetrate the ship. We, we, we can't be stuck here. Fuck. Are we stuck here? Lhasa is backing away from something. Guys, look. They are looking at a particular hand coming up from the bottom of the ship. It seems to be moving slightly faster than the others, just fast enough to notice the movement. They are now looking out the window at the statues in the distance, where they just came from. All the statues are now facing the ship and appear to be closer to the ship than before. <sighs> they were pretending. Me walks over to the entrance door. He is now pressing the manual button to open it. It is not opening on the outside where they cannot see. The first hand that was coming up from the ground near the door is now its entire arm, and it has just reached the door, jamming it, not allowing it to open. Myth of fucking logical. Me is still pressing it. It doesn't seem to work. Me is going back to sit down. He sits down and is putting his head down to think. Ko is now trying the button. It doesn't work. We gotta get out of here. Ko lifts up his force field directed at the window. Wait, you can't destroy the ship! It's no use, Ko. Our ship is designed to travel through stars. Our force fields can't break them. Full force, shoot! The field hits the window, but it is not phased. I notice that, on the other side of the ship, in the window, is that one isolated statue, the prominent one. It has reached the ship and it now appears to be observing them through the window. It is the same, dishonest grin like before, and is licking its lips. <sighs> oh, gosh. Also, that statue appears to be moving visually faster. However, still extremely slow, but the change is such that it is as if they were intentionally moving extremely slow, not their normal or fastest speed, in order to appear as statues. I told you guys. In 20 hours, we could have been back home, and you wanted to fucking come here. <laughs> Fuck! So would the council notice that our signal is cut off and come find us? Not sure. I think they should be alerted, but it depends on where they got the last signal. It was cut off just moments ago, so this should be the last location. Yeah, let's hope so. 
and that they were alerted and come fast enough. Security, anything? You haven't been updating me. It's not empty. You see the fucking stream? Unless something with greater force of the planet moved the ship, they're still out there. What about the hill we landed on? What about it? It's hardened like the statues, right? Glenn, are you able to show us the outside of the ship? Certainly. Here is the view. As you may be able to see, more statues are penetrating the ship at all angles. You see, it looks like they are covering the ship. Maybe they're inside the hill. Huh. You're right. In my analysis, the hill was as dense as the statues in the surface under the sand. Because of this, there is no way to know if that's where the ship resides, but it is possible and likely. Alright. Are you still sending this to the security team? Yes, and their robots are on the hill scanning, as well as trying to penetrate through it to no avail. We still don't know until we finish the view. Alright, Glenn. Resume the display. Me is looking around at all the statues. And if they keep penetrating through, I don't see how they would be able to remove them. They all show despair. Cool stops and is looking down at a hand and arm coming up from the floor. It is moving the fastest. He is pointing the force field at it, about to use it. The rest come over and it appears they are about to try it with Ko. Fast forwarding. They have all just tried force fielding the statue. They are looking to see if it was phased. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be phased at all, not even by a little bit. They try their weapons on the other hands and arms within the ship. They are not phased either. The statues, it appears, are continuing to penetrate the ship. I can see more hands and arms coming through at different locations. Me is looking at the isolated, prominent statue that is looking at them through the window. Me grabs a cloth and places it over the window to block the view of it staring at them. They all seem to be terrified and are walking back and forth in the ship. What's it like outside the ship now? All is quiet, but they do seem to be forming a barrier around the ship, and I can see the five through the window, terrified, walking back and forth, occasionally looking out the window at the statues that, I also forgot to reveal, are now only about 20 feet away from the ship. Fast forward as much as you can. It is now about 20 minutes later. They are still inside the ship. The statues now have half their body penetrated through the ship. The one coming up from the ground has its entire head, shoulders, and torso coming up from the floor. There appears to be others doing the same. This isn't gonna end well. I'm sorry, you three. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What? Why? We need to see what happened! Yeah. Please let us stay. We may be able to help. For security reasons, I need to see what happens first, and then I will inform you. Maybe we can help security. No, they're trained for this. We'll let you know afterwards. Please. We won't tell! I can't, Nay. And hurry so we can finish with the display. Let's go, guys. So they can finish it. I have opened the door for them, Mobus, as per your request. <sighs> if somehow you're able to get a hold of them, tell me I love them, and... In that case, we'll let you know. And how long will it take? What are the chances they'll make it? What are their chances, Glenn? Unfortunately, the chances are very low. There is backlog in the display, and there hasn't been much change, except the statues continuing to penetrate the ship. After we've seen everything, we'll send you the display. Please find a way to save them, Mobus. Even after everything, don't give up hope. I haven't, and I won't. Glenn, after I've seen the end of the display, and only after I've given you my word, and you've given your analysis, I want you to send it to him. Only these three, and security. Lock it, so that no one else can see it. Give him my word. Certainly. Nay, Polo, and Perry, you can be assured that after Mobus gives me the word and after my analysis, I will send the remaining of the display to the three of you. You have my word. <sighs> please, hurry, Mobus. Yes, please. We're doing our best. 
I really hope they make it. Thank you, Mobis. Being part of the council, everything allowing us to see, this really helped. All right, go now so we can quickly see what happened. <laughs> go! Would you like me to continue with the display, Mobus? Uh, yes. Continue. The prominent one now has its head penetrated through the window, but the cloth is still covering it. However, the outline of its face can be seen through the cloth. All 100 statues are now just outside the ship, many of them touching it and looking through the window. The five are clearly terrified, breathing heavily, and walking back and forth with the little room they have because they have to dodge and avoid all the fingers, hands, arms, and bodies coming from all sides and the floor of the ship. There has to be something we can do! Ko stops and is looking at the one whose entire torso is standing up looking at them from the floor. Come on guys, try again. But for longer this time. Long as we can. Maybe a little back off. But I thought it doesn't phase them. Yeah, like blowing a brick wall with your breath. We have to do something. But for longer this time. Maybe we didn't do it for long enough. Yeah, it probably still won't feel it, but it's worth a try. Okay guys, on the count of three, for as long as we can, and see if it starts to back off. And if it does, where would it go? Like, back in the ground? That's what we're hoping. Okay, one, two, three, shoot! do they use it for? Fast forward if you can. It is now 10 minutes later. The ship is now surrounded by all the statues, more having penetrated through, including most of the 100. They all now have at least one part of their body inside. The five are still using their force field. Okay, stop! They all step away and look. The statue is now higher up from the ground with the top of its thighs coming up from the floor. It didn't work! It didn't back off or anything! Yeah, it probably felt like a massage. Fuck! Oh my god, what have we gotten ourselves into? Some time later. The statues have penetrated the ship so much that many now have their whole bodies inside the ship. Also, coming up from the floor are more fingers, hands, and the horns from their heads are just about everywhere so they have no choice but to step on some of them. Ko sees an opening between two statues, and it seems as if he is about to go through them to have a look outside through the window. What are you doing? Don't go, Ko! It's almost closed off! Yeah, it looks too tight. Yeah, stay here with us! I just want to have a look out the window, see if I can see anything. See, it's not too tight. I'll be right back. <sighs> be quick, Ko! Ko goes and looks out the window. As before, there is nothing but the planet with sand and hills. All the statues are now connected to the ship. Fuck! We can't die like this! Ko goes back over to squeeze through. They are backing away. Ko is trying to squeeze through but just before he was about to enter, I noticed the statues started moving a little closer together, a little faster than usual. Oh gosh. Ko is trying to squeeze through like before. He puts his arm through, and then his leg. Kuo now seems stuck. The gap is tightened significantly, not allowing him to pass through. I'm stuck! Come help pull me through! In shock, the rest quickly go over and are helping pull Ko through. Ow! It's crushing me! Go back, Ko! We can't pull you through! I can't! I'm stuck! Just pull me through before it gets too tight! The statues that are connected to Ko are getting tighter. They are still moving just as fast during their burst when Cole was returning. Ah, just pull me through! <sighs> oh my fucking god. They are trying to pull Ko through, with all their might. It appears to squeeze Ko a little more. Success. They have just pulled Ko through and he has fallen to the floor, with all the fingers, hands, and horns. It's not a success, Glenn. Ah, ah, ah. That is Ko in pain, and 
He just got cut on his back by one of the horns for moving around. God, I hate listening to this. They comfort Ko and try covering up his wounds. Blood is everywhere. Tay is looking around very frightened. That cloth that was over the face of the prominent one has just fallen to the floor. It appears to have the same expression as before. Jesus fucking Christ. The four look over and see only its face sticking through and it is staring at them. And, just above, where the cloth fell over, are its fingers, where it must have pushed away what was holding the cloth. Some time later. All the statues are now extremely close to them. It is as if they are stuck inside a car, from below and all around, and they are sitting and crouched on the top of the statues that have come up from the floor. Ko is still in pain, and can barely move, but appears to be somewhat better than before. The statues are now surrounding them and facing them, all with a different, but, I would say very terrifying to them. Look on their face, their mouths are wide open as if, they are ready to eat them. God damn, poor guys. Also, some of them appear to be reaching out, as if to touch them, with their long, sharp, and pointy fingers and nails. The ones that have come up from the floor have raised them up, and so they now, all of them, are sitting and crouched on the heads, shoulders and wings of many of the creatures. They seem to be in a very uncomfortable position, as if on a tree with many branches. There are gaps, but other statues can be seen about to close them off, and the five seem to be sticking together, likely because they don't want to lose each other. Also, for the ones below them, they each seem to have selected one of the five as their own, and they have their faces pointed at them. Okay. I've had enough. Someone force field me. Are you sure? What? No! Force field, shoot! Please point device away from crew member. Shoot anyway! Please point device away from crew member. The safety features are built into the ship's system. I would need Ari, along with permission from home, to disable it. You knew that already? Of course. I knew it wasn't going to work. If it did, would you have done it? <laughs> I would have done it on myself first. Where are the Council? Shouldn't they have found us by now? Maybe. Maybe not. We have no way of knowing. And these things are practically indestructible, so I don't, don't see- Don't say it, me. Let's hope they find us and can somehow... find a way. They are all now looking at the creatures. It is as if they are being pounced on by a pack of lions. More time has passed, and Glenn is still describing the display to Mobus. They are all huddled in a position, Mobus, with their backs to each other. The statues have now closed them off so much that they have nowhere else to go or move around. All of the statues are glaring at them. Two of them have their fingers out as if ready to touch them. One is pointing at Tay, directly at Tay's lower belly, and the other at Ko, but it appears to be reaching out to grab Ko's face. 30 minutes later. The one pointing at Tay appears to be the one Tay shot with the force field, and the one reaching out to grab at Ko is the one they all tried to shoot with the force field. Also, the prominent one, the one that was in the window, is now alongside the rest of the statues, but they seem to have made a little room for it so that it stands out to them. It has the same dishonest look on its face, but this time it has its tongue out, as if ready to lick them, and it is pointed at me. 20 minutes later. The creatures are so close, and not only do they have nowhere else to move, but they can barely move their face, arms, and legs. The creatures now have their mouths opened wider, and they are aiming at their legs, arms, body, and some at their face. And because they are so close, and their teeth, nails, and horns are so sharp, any movement from the five will result in the statues puncturing their skin. The creature reaching out to touch Tay first has its nail touching Tay's shirt. Tay can see its finger moving a little faster and closer, about to puncture the lower part of the body. At the same time, the one that was reaching out to grab Ko, now has its entire hand surrounding Ko's face, as if it were grabbing a basketball. The prominent one's face is a little closer to Mi's face, but its tongue is out wider, reaching out further than before, as if ready to lick me on the cheek. Ten minutes later. 
The prominent one now has its tongue on Mi's cheek. It appears to be licking it, and there isn't much pressure. However, the nail from the other statue is starting to penetrate Tay. It is about to penetrate through. I can see blood is starting to pour out her shirt. It's okay, Tay. You can get through this. You got this, Tay. It's inside oh, me. I love you, Tay. We're gonna get through this. They're going to come and find us. However, the other one now has its entire hand around Ko's head, and it seems to be getting tighter. I can see that Ko can now feel the pressure and it is beginning, but is slowly, to squeeze and crack Ko's skull. I can feel it! It's squeezing my skull! You got this, Ko. Yeah, you got- ah! Five minutes later. One of the statues now has its teeth and one of Mi's legs and blood is starting to pour out. The prominent one seems to still be licking Mi's cheek. Also, another one is now puncturing Loan with its teeth, but in the neck. Blood is now pouring out Loan's neck. One is now biting Lhasa, also on the leg. <sighs> More are beginning to, with their teeth, to penetrate them, including Tae and Ko. They cannot move and, it is unfortunate, all they can do is lie there as the creatures slowly devour them and as they bleed to death. I am able to see a little of the outside of the ship, and further out. The statues have surrounded the ship and almost completely merged with it. There is nothing else nearby. They seem to be helpless, in the middle of nowhere, and the only ones, along with the nearby statues, on the planet. It looks like this is the end of the atmospheric memory of ship 443. I will now shift to when the Galactu first arrived at the place, which is only moments later. For this I can rewind and fast forward as such. Where would you like me to begin? And would you like detailed description for this one too? Mobus? Mobus? Give me a minute, Glenn, I'm thinking. You know what I just saw, right? Yes, Mobus. I understand, but there seems to be no reasonable- Shut up! Oh. Alright. Display the memory when they first arrived. And go ahead. Describe it if you want, but it's not necessary. Certainly. It is only about ten minutes later, from when the atmospheric memory dissipates. When they arrive in the Galacta, they are following a map on their screen leading to the planet of statues and the location of the last signal. Fast forwarding. This is where they arrived at the exact location where the signal was lost, which the computer had informed them. As suspected, there now appears to be a hill in that particular location. It is identical to all the other hills. Now this is where they land, on the hill, and I was able to make out, from the bottom sensor of the ship, it seemed as if the back of one of the statues had just slowly merged with the hill, until it was no longer visible and at one with it. It was so fast they didn't notice it. So Ney was likely right. The ship is likely within the hill. Rewind that part and show it to me. Certainly. Here it is. Alright. Pause it there. Can you make out the outline of the statue at the top of the hill? Yeah, you're right, I can see it. Alright, carry on. This is where they land and are looking at the information on the screen. Destination reached. The Galacta detects no ship. The signal was lost right here. As you can see, they are looking around in all directions, not knowing the ship is likely below them. Scan the area within a thousand mile radius. Scanning. No ship detected. No life detected. Scan the surface of the planet. Surface below increases to unspecified density. Material is uniform with the entire planet. No ship detected. No life detected. They end up waiting in there for a bit, inform security, and set up the crystal for the atmospheric memory. 
Now let me fast forward. This is when they are stepping out of the ship to have a look around. And here, they have scanning devices trying to scan the hill in the ground. Both their devices said no signal found. This is just before they return to the ship after looking around in all directions. You can see Nay getting on her knees crying. <laughs> it's as if it disappeared. It's okay, Nay. They must have taken off and the communication system must have stopped working. This is... This has never happened before. I'm really worried. We'll contact the council. See what the memory crystal picks up. Let's hurry back so we can find out what happened. Nay, not wanting to leave, is looking around up at the sky. She then puts her head down and is in deep thought. <sighs> okay. Let's hurry back. So Perry helps Nate back up and they begin to return to the ship. They arrive inside, and this is when they do one last scan. Density, immeasurable. Material, unknown. No ship detected, no life detected. This is when they take off, and now, because of everything that happened, I can see through the bottom sensor of the ship, a face on the surface of the hill. It really looks like the face of the prominent one. It is looking up at the ship as it takes off, and it still has that grin on its face. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah I can. Now delete it, it's too creepy. I don't want to ever see that face again. Okay, certainly. Now this is where they take off Did and- security come? Yes, they came as they were leaving and they returned and did a quick, similar search and nothing was found. And then? They leave and a couple hours later they return, here, with the crystal. Is that it? Yes, that is everything. Now do you want me to send the display to the three? Uh, what do you think? Can they handle it? It will be tough for a few months, especially for Perry and Tay, but my analysis reveals they will be able to heal, and it may provide a lesson for future explorations. All right. Send it to them. Certainly. Sending now. Mobus, security. Any luck? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. You've seen the whole stream? Yeah. All right, call it off and head back home. But continue to quarantine the area and give warning to all ships about the planet. We're going to have to look into upgrading all our kit, especially our forcing and laser tech. And make sure all our ships have the latest crystal upgrades. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Keep me updated. Glenn, what are you deaf? Why didn't you get my electrochemical message? I'm sorry, Mobus. I didn't. I am still searching for the best one for you. I don't care. After all that shit, anything will do. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, that'll do. Thank you.